remains a concern. In Thailand, the government is aiming to ensure the right balance between economic growth and price stability. Our economy strongly rebound from the flood. In the first quarter of this year, it grew by 11% from the last quarter and likely to achieve the growth rate of 5.5 to 6.5 percent for the whole year. Inflation during the first quarter of this year was 3.4 percent, but it was due to an increase of the price of fresh food and energy, which together increased by 5 percent. So therefore, the source of the inflation are mainly from the situation in agricultural product market and the world's oil price. This pressure uh, softening and the inflation last month reduced to 3.2%. This indicates that inflation this year will be under control, I hope that. And however, we need to work together to deal with this pressure by increasing supply of alternative energy which we are now producing from energy crops and coordinating production. Processing and marketing of agricultural output in order to reduce price fluctuation. Given the world, given the global economic slowdown, we believe that we will, we will still have to keep high priorities to boosting domestic demand and implementing the budget plan on public investment on schedule. After facing the major flood last year, our government are working hard to make our economy more disaster resistant and have set aside 11.4 billion US dollars for investing in water infrastructure and management. In addition, we will accelerate investment in a new infrastructure such as rail, high-speed train, energy, and telecommunication. The projects in the pipeline are worth around 74 billion US dollars in five years. Ladies and gentlemen, we will continue to ensure that we achieve sustainable growth. Thailand already has solid fundamentals such as a growing market, open and flexible approach in investment and global markets, strategic location with extensive infrastructure and service-oriented culture, a dedicated equality workforce and a stable democracy based on rule of law. As respect of diversity, we will enhance this competitiveness by restructuring our industry, developing human resources, and further investing in new infrastructure. We will also continue to implement inclusive growth measures such as at the adjustment of minimum wage and increase in the well-being of low-income population as well as 
improving the productivity to the firm. Several measures are designed to increase the population, to increase the opportunities of important groups such as SME, which is a group of uh, the industrial and the company that we put the highlight of this because it will be growing very fast and along if we can enhance their productivity and for their income. So I think they believe that this will be the stronger sector. And also women as well. It doesn't mean because I'm a female, but I think women, if we can enhance them to uh, have more quality of life and women can, can earn the money, most of the money will pay back to the family. So it will increase the half of the economic uh, domestic income growth and also grassroots population as well. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not only that we focus on our domestic growth, but as the region becomes a key engine of global economy, so we will also find a way to reduce development gaps between countries and increase the growth potential of the regions as a whole. That is why we closely co cooperate with our neighbors to develop connectivities and economic corridors so that the economic benefits are created and widely distributed. Lastly, on the political front, Thailand has achieved greater stability. The government received a clear mandate from the people in last July general election. We saw the highest vote turn out in Thailand's history with the strong economic fundamental and domestic institution. Thailand has built the necessary platform for achieving sustainable economic growth and development. We are now in better position to provide new opportunities for the business, both local and foreign. This will contribute toward the continued prosperity of Thailand and the region. With this remark, ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to welcome you to Thailand. I wish you all the best in your discussion and hope you stay in the land of spine and will not only be memorable but also productive. Thank you for your attention.